Hello and welcome to Avi Network's APIC deployment video. In this video we will see how easy it is to install Avi Network's cloud application delivery platform in a Cisco APIC ACI environment and provision application delivery and analytics services. Once you've deployed your Avi controller, navigate to the web UI and complete the setup wizard. During the setup wizard, make sure you check the integrate with Cisco APIC box and provide your APIC infrastructure information. Now that the setup is complete, we will move to the APIC UI. Since the Avi controller automatically registers and uploads its device package, we can go straight into creating our service graph. To allow for dynamic scaling, we will create an advanced service graph with two nodes. After providing a name, drag and drop ADC Tier 1 node and select ADC Tier 1 profile. Do the same for ADC Tier 2 node and connect everything with default L2 parameters. Now expand the service graph of both nodes. Set the meta connector to intermediate for both functional node 1's internal and functional node 2's external connectors. Now we can create our contract. Add a subject. Select a filter. And choose the service graph we just created. Lastly, we are going to create our application profile. I will create a server EPG as my provider and a client EPG as my consumer using the contracts we just created for both. Now that we are done with the configuration on the APIC side, let's go back to the Avi UI. First, I'm going to navigate to infrastructure and add some IPs to my client and server IP address pools. Next, I will navigate back to my applications and switch from our admin tenant to our APIC tenant so we can create the virtual service in the correct tenant. Note that Avi Controller has automatically synchronized the tenant information from APIC. If you are not able to switch tenants, try logging out and logging back into the controller. Now let's create a basic virtual service. Choose the VS name in the form of Contract Service Graft from the drop down menu. Configure port, protocol, and select all servers in APIC EPG. Avi Controller automatically synchronizes the server information from APIC. So choose your server EPG and click Save. At this point, the Avi Controller will now automatically spin up a service engine in vCenter. The process of lift creation, device selection policy, concrete device registration, and lift to SIF mapping is completely automated by the Avi controller. These processes will take a minute or two complete, but as soon as the service engine comes up, the service engine will begin sending health checks to the server and the virtual service will come up. All right, now that the virtual service is up, let's send some traffic from one of our client machines. We can now go back to the Avi UI and see our request in the client logs. This concludes our deployment of Avi Network's cloud application delivery platform in Cisco's APIC ACI. 
Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or run into any issues during your deployment, feel free to contact us at support at avinetworks.com.